I'm Harvey Riedel, and uh, I've taken, we got a hundred of my pictures up right now at the Historical Society, and uh, hopefully people enjoy them. There's some celebrities and some local people, and we got 103 right now, and we're going to have another 100 when these come down for part two. And uh, if it wasn't, wasn't for uh, Bill Knapp and Sam Mudd, and I'm trying to think of his name, <laughs> Harry, <laughs> he did all the captions on it without those those three people, it probably would have never happened. But it seems like it brings back memories. Uh, a lot of people are looking at them. And I think anybody's seen them. There's a picture of John Gunner up there that when it's, he was a sheriff, and one before that when he's a city policeman. And Jill Jackson and Bill McCarty. And, Louis Armstrong, a little bit of everybody. Uh, and when this comes down in about a month, month and a half, uh, when they want to bring it down, and then we put up another hundred. See where we're at then. Uh, I'm, I'm probably more known for my landscapes than I am for people pictures, but I got a few here, and I think you'll enjoy them. I, I started taking pictures when I was nine with a brownie box camera, 620. Uh, when my first daughter was born, I went and bought a Manala twin lens, which was a better camera. And uh, that's probably when I got my start and joined the, Muncie, the Del Carimi Camera Club, uh, helped me a lot, and the Anderson Camera Club after that. I started working for the paper before the mid-60s sometime. I'm not really sure of the date. I, n I never kept track of dates when I did things. Um, it w wasn't that important to me, but now it seems like it's important because people want to know when I took these pictures. But anyway, this this was a sampling what I did for the paper. I did probably 10, 20 times more than that. Some of our assignments was 15 minutes apart, so we had to jump in and get it and process it and make a a plate on it and uh, get it in the newspaper. But back when I hired in the newspaper, they did a linotype, and uh, now it's all computerized. <laughs> newspaper and taking pictures wasn't a job to me. It was uh, something I liked doing. And we got uh, we got some Del Carimi guide, and there's a Nicholson file and farm workers and. Uh, just a kind of a mix of what I did. Uh, I, if, if you're out there doing it, you get more of a respect for the newspaper. We, we had some great people working up there. It was always better to go with a reporter, but that, that didn't happen very often. You just had to go and they told you who they wanted and would shoot it and get out of there and go to the next one. But, and then we developed it and printed it the same night. And, uh, Back then, they was doing their own printing here in Anderson. They don't do that no more. Eddie Shannon, he, uh, he I worked with him in plating in 641 plant, uh, plant six. He, uh, we, we got to be friends after a while, and uh, he come, become a third shift committeeman and. He was kind of a rough guy, but he was a great guy, too. Uh, he lived down in Irondale, and he got killed, and he was coming back from Arizona, moving back to Anderson, and uh, they got in a car wreck, the one, guys who was with them, and Eddie got killed. In a, and Anyway, we, we got to be pretty good friends. I communicated with him all the time he lived in Arizona. But... Uh, I just kind of wanted that picture. Uh, he smoked a lot and drank a little bit, and, but he, he was a great guy. Do you remember where you took that photograph? I think I took it in my house. <laughs> uh, that was before I worked with paper. Uh, he, he, uh, I hired in Delco in 55, so I probably met Eddie in the early 60s. Uh, 
but I wanted to take a picture of him. He let me do it. But he was a smoker. We don't we don't show cigarettes in people's hands anymore. But uh, when we was doing a, a radio event up in uh, Fairmont, they wanted us to take a cigarette out of James Dean's mouth, <laughs> or he had it in his hand. So they didn't want us to show that. Uh, that's when I started realizing they didn't want cigarettes in pictures anymore. <laughs> I photographed a few presidents, but. I, it depends if you talk about music. If it's music, it's Louis Armstrong, uh, Guy Lombardo. He he was a great band person from Canada. Uh, Chubby Checkers up there. Um, uh, Jeff Stoops for Citizen Bank. And the mayor, McMahon up there. Uh, he, he was a great mayor. He, he was a people's person. And, and Bob Rocks there with Mary Jo and uh, Tom Newman and his father. And Dear Abby is there. She was here. I took some portraits of her for her. She, she ended up ordering 72 on, I think, seven or nine different poses I shot her in. And I shot him in the, sort of in the dark in the old San Francisco. Um, they, I thought they was going to use one for the papers, but they, I don't think they ever did use one of her. But anyway, Bill McCarty up here and Abraham and Governor Bowen. Yes, he was uh, here in Elwood both. And he was in the wigwam. Uh, I got got the uh, talk with his wife, Ethel. But over over in Elwood, it's, uh, it was kind of neat him going over to Elwood from here. Or he, he was there first. I'm not sure. Yeah, like I I don't remember dates, but it, yeah, he was in the primary. He he got killed right after he he left here. He went to I think Iowa and then on into California. Jim Carroll, uh, I was working with him at the time, and he asked for a photograph that I shot. It wasn't that one, it was a different one. And he asked one of the lead guys if he would uh, give him an autograph of it. And uh, when, when he was in Iowa on the way to California, he, they sent the picture back, he autographed it, and uh, he got killed right after that. But he seemed to be a good people person. Uh, Yeah, he was at our union hall. Uh, the Lakin Club uh, rented the, the hall because it was a nice place, you know, to meet. And uh, local 662. Uh, that's one I forgot I did. I then uh, Governor Luger, I mean Mayor Luger, Senator Luger. He he uh, he he was always. When he first started campaigning, he'd shake your hand and run. And I told his lead guy, if he sees a guy with a camera, he ought to slow down a little bit until he gets a shot. <laughs> but he, you hardly ever been able to shoot him the way he'd move around so quick. He wouldn't give you a time to even take a picture. You could be ready, and he'd be gone before you know it. So he, he was hard to photograph at first, and then he slowed down a little bit. <laughs> I, I got pictures back in the other room uh, of the courthouse. Uh, one kind of a unique picture. And everybody wants to know what, where I shot it from, and I forgot. <laughs> but it, yeah, with the curtains, it it had a, it couldn't have been on the south side, and, it, and I don't think it could have been on the west side. So I'm thinking it was on the east side because <laughs> it's got a small door showing in it. Uh, when, when Lawler ran for uh, prosecutor, I photographed him coming out of the old courthouse on the steps, and, and that was on the south side. <laughs> and that's the one I think John F. Kennedy. Uh, I got credit for a picture of John F. Kennedy, but uh, I didn't shoot that one. It was in one, a publication a while back uh, in a book they made. Uh, somebody else shot that, it wasn't me. But, uh, 
Del Grimmie, they was going to fire me if I went up and take pictures, so I decided to stay out there and work. When you got four kids, you got to work. <laughs> David Humphrey did a great job on an Anderson book on the Cecil Centennial, 50, 150 years, and the newspaper did a wonderful one, too. And, and uh, I had some in there that, uh, in the smaller book, uh, that it was, uh, uh, it, it had pictures in there if you grew up in Anderson, Indiana. Some of those with mine too, <laughs> which is okay. Uh, I understand they make mistakes sometimes and they don't do it on purpose, that's for sure. This was one, one of the early pictures I shot at the, the newspaper at the farm workers up in, I, th I think I shot that one just north of uh, LA, but it was in that area. And I've been chased out of there before, too. I'd go in unannounced, and they, the farm workers, the farmers didn't, didn't really like me being there, taking pictures. <laughs> but they, they lived on a grass, grass floor, and usually if they had a camp, this is probably better, it's a wooden building, but uh, they, they usually had their bread to hang it up on a clothesline to keep the bugs out. and uh, They'd have a wash basin kind of in the middle of the campsite. And, and they, they, every one of them treated me really good. And it was the farmers I didn't, didn't care for me to be there. But uh, anyway, I, 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 I tried to treat them with respect like I do everybody else. Uh, a guy rode his horse in uh, work one day, and I was working there in the newspaper at the same time. I was putting 16 hours a day in. <laughs> but anyway, he uh, rode that horse in, and he, I guess there's something in the contract where he was able to go out and water it and feed it on, on work time. <laughs> but it's something that was in the old contract years, years ago. But uh, anyway, I was working then and I had my camera with me, so I shot a picture of it. Uh, this, I think it's Plant 11, people going out, and, and the traffic drove pretty close to where they come out at. And one of the strikes we had there, and this is making alternators. Uh, it had to be in plant, plant 17, most likely, that shot was taken. The headlights that they tested, I don't think they do that anymore, but I did some pictures for a guy at one time. This is a group of guys from Plant 3, um, rode Harleys, and we had a Harley representative there, and the, the buyer that bought stuff for him. He, uh, it's a group I was involved with a, a bait back then. It was a great group. These is uh, pictures from the Free Fair down Park Place, uh, City Hall, uh, Ferris Wheel, and Fireworks. The, the circle there has been a while. And, uh, back then we didn't have Photoshop, so it's all one picture and it's on film. This is a flood, kind of washed it out that day, and a couple police officers, and I think they're Anderson police officers, and I think they probably rode motorcycles back then. And this is some of the rides down there. Uh, this is the racetrack they had down there, the Sulkies. Uh, it, it was a pretty good experience seeing them running around there. And this is another fair shot. They called it Soul Country. Uh, this is uh, Eisenhower Bridge being built in the city hall and uh, county building, I mean and Ninth Street Tunnel, and that's Ninth Street Bridge being tore down. Uh, this is part of the bridge. This is, uh, uh, this is Ninth Street Bridge, and that's where it intersected with uh, the Eisenhower Bridge. And this is part of it here before, well, they had part of it built already. And they're getting ready to tear that down again. <laughs> Uh, here's the bridge here, and we know it and down in the foreground where they're picking up the old bridge. Uh, Julie Eisenhower dedicated the bridge. 
uh, shoot, and I was in City, uh, City Hall too. They uh, it was invited over there, and Jill Jackson with uh, Julie, she's really a nice person. And this was a dedication of City Hall with uh, 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 Mayor Luger from Indianapolis, and it's then Senator, and he was a good one. <laughs> and uh, he's with uh, Ed Flanagan when they dedicated it. And he's speaking here, uh, Mr. Luger, and Mayor Luger then. And here's... Uh, Bob Rock with Mary Jo and uh, Mayor Flanagan. Uh, one was outgoing and one's coming in. And this is a uh, 41 Buick, I guess, in front of the old library. Um, here's a couple of downtown pictures. Uh, anyway, this is 9th Street at the Lyson Branch, and this is Anderson Bank. Uh, somebody running for sheriff, I guess. Liberal furniture and down that way. I Masonic Temple, some of the old thing. Helen Newman and uh, her husband Tom. Uh, she's doing a painting in front of the art center on Eighth Street. Uh, this uh, this is it. Here, is this better? <laughs> That's uh, the uh, the old art center, and uh, they used to have some fairs, uh, parade down Eighth Street. It was really a big, big deal. And here's the parade downtown, uh, a, a showing of pictures in uh, the old uh, art center, and I got a couple right here. <laughs> That's in there. That's probably why I took it. <laughs> but anyway, this over here is uh, Anderson College in the winter. And Reardon Auditorium here, Warner Auditorium, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and this is a picture with the flowers, people mingling out there at camp meeting. And Park Place Church, and a graduation at the church. Uh, this is Louis Armstrong. It was during the Redbud Festival, whenever that was. I, I knew... Uh, uh, wind instrument people, they usually get, try to get their breath up and before they go out and play. And my dad did that. He was a saxophone player. And, and I, I knew he was doing that. And I asked the lead guy if I could take some pictures of him doing it. And he took me in there and shut the door and left. So it was just me and Louis Armstrong. It was a great honor for me. Uh, anyway, this is Gene Yates' building. First savings when they was building it. Uh, Anderson newspapers here and y, YMCA over here. I walked out the front door and saw that shot, and so I took it. Uh, just kind of a grab picture. This is when they was building a swimming pool. One they're in now at the YMCA. This is Citizen Bank and the county building here. When the bricks was falling off, they had a fence there to keep people back. This is a. Uh, this could be my car, I'm not sure I had one back then, but it was eight degrees when I photographed that. That could be my wife driving in, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, this is a courthouse picture I shot through a window. Uh, I think it's on the east side, but I'm not sure. Uh, this is uh, some Christmas decoration with the Anderson Hotel, it's got a sign right here. But anyway, these are some of the shirts they gave me. Well, I had to buy some of them. But Del Carimi America, I did pictures for them, and uh, that was the Skyworks. They had a, a balloon thing going. And this is uh, uh, the Great Lakes Regional they had at the airport. And one of my T-shirts, I, I never did wear these shirts, but they gave them to me, and I, I had a bunch of them. But they go back into the 60s, some of them. And this is sunset over eight, uh, the Eisenhower Bridge with Tom Daring's drugstore here in the foreground. So I, I had to be back a long way to shoot that one with a telephoto. Uh, this is down at Strickler's Hardware down on Madison Avenue and Nickel. Anyway, somebody out there working. 
uh, we was always looking for spot news, uh, not spot news, but um, so something they could put on the front page, local. Uh, when when you see these pictures, when you see the pictures and went through that, you, you know what uh, John Clary and the rest of the ph other photographers at our paper goes through, and it, it's it's easier, I think, with the digital now, but, uh, but John Clary went through the film thing too, so he knows what it was like. Uh, he's, but they, they have a good staff at the Anderson newspaper. We're lucky to have them. Uh, I don't think people really appreciate them like they should. <laughs> but uh, we're better off having a newspaper than we are without one. This is a soapbox derby, one of the first ones after they built the hill. But they're going across the finish line down here at the bottom of the hill. Uh, Townsend, uh, Brooks Townsend. And this, uh, some kind of, they got some oil cans anyway, Gene Yates and uh, uh, Barry Estes. He was a coach at Anderson High School, basketball. This might have been one of his games with the Ellie, uh, Anderson Indians in, in the wigwam. And that's Ray there. He is really a great coach. And one of the ceremonies at the uh, Indian Maiden, but the Indian jumping over, it, it, it's always been a thrill for me. <laughs> I, I always thought that was good. I never went to a basketball game until I got down here from Michigan. <laughs> but anyway, this is the old phone booth. I, I don't know what made me shoot it, but I was thinking a lot of kids, a lot of people use that telephone booth. Uh, and now we don't have phone booths, so it was probably pretty important that I photographed it. And this is in the graduation at, in the Wigwam. And uh, I, I'm not sure who's playing in that game. It's the Pirates. It's somebody else. Uh, not sure. But anyway, it's a basketball game I did. And, this is a poster Sam Mudd uh, worked up. He, he was one of the reasons this thing's going right now with the pictures. Uh, he, him and Bill Knapp, they, they really had a lot to do with it. Uh, seemed like I was just watching them do it all. But uh, anyway, they think I did a little bit with the pictures, so I guess I get credit a little bit. And Harry, the guy that did the captions, he did a wonderful job, I think. We tried to make it short and sweet where you didn't have to try to read everything. Uh, this is one I did, and this is one me with some queens out in front of Donald's barbecue, and me with the president of UAW doing something, I'm not sure. And this is Miss America with Miss Indiana and with me there. I don't know what I'm doing here. I must have got nuts. But this is a, some of the staff I worked with. Uh, uh, Hagen Seeker, Steve Hagen Seeker, me and John Clary, and Mike Brown, he's with the Detroit Free Press, Detroit News now. He's been up there a long time. And Greg White, we don't know what happened to him, but he, he's around. But, uh, anyway, we kind of looked at, uh, in this room we got 60 some pictures, and then all together we got about 103, I think, right now. And as soon as these come down, part two comes up in in a month or a month and a half, and then we're going to put another hundred up to look at a uh, different time. We we put more stuff together like Guide Lamp and, and uh, Delco and the bridge and the fair and the art center. But anyway, uh, hopefully we have one that's as good as right now. But anyway, it, my pleasure showing them. I, I didn't know if they'd ever be shown again, but it seems like people like them more now than they did when I took them. Thank you.